hey guys welcome back to let code once again so recently we have a lot of changes in the selenium 4 the chrome driving chrome driver um so we have something like chrome for testing now so which causing a lot of problem and most of you ask me about how to run the test using selenium 3 and selenium 4 so it's going to be very simple let me show you the demo so if you go to this chrome driver website from where we used to download all the chrome drivers you can see we can have like a one not 114 113 and all the versions are there but now whatever we are using the latest for example if i go to my chrome browser and if i go to the about section you can see it's basically 116 but that is not available to download here so how to download it's very simple if you go to this particular link chrome for testing availability dashboard if you go there you can see like we have something like stable upcoming and beta uh, dev and something okay so the green means of course we can use this the red means of course you should avoid that so here we have this 116 so how do we download if you scroll down you can see like we have this 116 and 116 and 117 118 118 and yeah so we have like from 116 115 is missing but of course you can go and download that as well from this json api point so if you click that it will open a not this one uh, yeah so if you go to this json endpoint here you can see like we have uh, 115 yeah so we have 115 you have to go and download that particular driver we'll go with the 116 for now so it's going to be very simple actually if you scroll down you can see like we have this chrome so this is basically your chrome for testing now for testing we have a separate browser and the regular browser that we have is just a chrome okay and here we have like win32 win64 mac linux so based on your operating system you have to download in my case it's win64 i'm going to download only the chrome driver not the chrome binary file okay so you have to just open this link in a new tab and it will ask you to download the driver so just go and hit save so once that is done you can go to that particular folder go and extract it here i'm sorry for the background noise and here you can select we have chrome driver and also we have the license so i'm just going to copy both the file license is not required but yeah you can copy go to your eclipse i'm going to show the demo for the selenium third version first okay so here within the selenium uh, if you go to the palm.xml you can see like i have the late last version of selenium 3 okay i'm going to create a um, folder first so right click folder and let me name it like drivers and you can paste the files so here you can see like we have this chrome driver.exe if you go and open this file you can see it's basically um, the version 1 116 okay so always check for the major version so that means like you don't have to uh, check for this uh, dot comma something something just check like it's a 116 or 117 or 115 okay then what you have what you can do is it's very simple so uh, this is our basic selenium script to launch a browser and to quit right so just in case if you want to see you will just print the title as well So if you go and run this now of course it won't work because we do not have the system.set property so here you can see like it says illegal state exception the driver path should be something something so we'll just copy this value here and here i will say like system dot set property and key should be this and then we have to give the path which is going to be this path so we can use the relative path so dot slash then followed by driver slash chrome driver dot exe okay that's it very simple this is the only thing you have to do for selenium 3 so if i go and run this now you can see that chrome is controlled by automated test software which we always get and also we got the title and of course it's running this the chrome version that i have installed for example if i come on this and run let's see what happens so if i go to this help about google chrome you can see it's basically 116 the browser i have in my machine okay so that's it very simple thing for your selenium um, 3 nothing much i'm going to kill all the chrome drivers so let me go to my command prompt and i will say task kill slash 4 slash image and the image name is 
chrome driver dot exe okay so i have terminated all my chrome drivers now okay so selenium 3 i hope you got the fix you have to just download the chrome driver and you have to set it up okay so if you are using uh one on five the driver version is not available so you can update your browser to one on six if you are using one on four we have the drivers you can use that okay now coming back to the selenium 4 there are the lot of changes and which i don't like actually so selenium if you are using 4.10 don't use that 4.11 i was trying with the 4.10 it didn't work for me so i just upgraded to 4.11 but if you see the selenium version the latest version is basically your uh 4.12 actually so if you go to the downloads and here you can select uh yeah if you go to the change log here you can see we have the 4.12 but i think it's not yet released so if you go to the maven repository basically we can see only 4.11 and also in the website also there's we have like 4.11 so we'll go and stick with that so in the dependency i have added 4.11 and in the selenium 4 uh, from 4.0.6 or 7 i guess we don't have to use the system.set property basically um, it can download the chrome drivers the chrome test browser as well and then it can execute so if i go and run this now let's see what happens so you can see we are able to launch the browser and okay let me show you the version as well and i'm going to print the title as well just to show you it works fine so it's basically it will download the chromium driver i mean chrome driver automatically and it will run the test we don't have to use the system.set property or we don't have to go and search for uh, drivers and install okay so for example if i go to this about chrome you can see it's 116 it's basically running on my local browser that already i have the chrome browser i have so you can see is controlled by the automated test software but if i want to use the chromium test browser for example um, what is chromium test basically chrome for testing so this is the new browser they have given so like we can use this for our testing purposes okay what's the reason i don't know i haven't read the documentation yet fully uh, but this is what used by the playwright for the very first the chromium chromium is basically one release ahead from your regular browser regular user browser so this is also something like that but i'm not sure maybe if you want to know much about this chrome test browser do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to create another video okay now coming back to our learnings so this is fine but what if i want to run in the chromium chrome for testing browser not the chrome browser that i have on my machine it's very simple what you have to do is you have to go and uh, use the chrome options okay before that uh, you might have uh, have a doubt like okay you are using this chrome driver you are launching the browser um but why the drivers get downloaded right so if you want to see that you can go to your um, this pc your c folder go to users here my user is kaushik and within that we have cache within that we have selenium and within that we have chromium my machine is 64 and within that you can see we are getting the 116 because my browser is 116 so let's say that i want to run in 115 or 117 let's see so here we'll select options dot set uh, version set browser version and here i can simply say like let's say i want to run in 117 okay and here of course don't forget to pass the driver okay i mean the chrome options to the chrome con chrome driver constructor now if i go and you can see i have executed but it's taking some time because if you go to your caching folder if you go to this selenium the cache chrome driver in 64 116 is there but 117 is not there in my machine so what it will do it will download the driver as well as it will download the chrome 117 binary so you can see we got a new folder here which which will contain the um yeah and here you can see like it's only for automated testing chrome for testing so we got this actually there's an, an issue in the chrome 117 it's a uh, uh from chrome driver not from the selenium that is what i'm aware of so if i go to this github okay i'm not able to find the relevant github issue but maybe i will update in the description or in the pin command 
but yeah 117 we have this issue so that's the reason uh, it's not opening the url and you can see like minus one json something we got which is no issue so don't worry about that but maybe you can go with 116 or 115 for example let's go say we want to run our test in 115 now here if you go to the caching folder this is your driver and if you go to this chrome here you can see like we have this 117 as a browser now i'm going to run in the chrome version called 115 so what would what it will do in the sense like it will go and download the uh chrome 115 so here we can select 115 the so number should appear now let's see and where is my console yeah so in the console we can see we got something so yeah 115 is downloaded and if you go back to the folder and you can see the relevant chrome driver is downloaded it will download only for the first time if the chrome binary and the driver is already there it won't keep on downloading it will just rather use the same okay so it's similar to your maven concept now here you can select of course the test pass so i mean test executed we are not doing any assert so i cannot say test pass basically test executed okay so that is the only thing you have to remember in selenium 3 of course you have to do the system.set property and you now know how to download the chrome drivers in selenium 4 is just simple you don't have to use anything you can just use the chrome options and remember you have to pass this to the chrome driver options uh, for firefox there is no changes as per my knowledge for the microsoft edge version the same similar concept okay so that's it if you have any queries still feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Bye bye. take care